we're coming back with the third installment on HR 5717. So in section five of this bill, it's still a lot of the regurgitated bullshit from previous bills and democratic speaking points, uh, all the scary features and things like that. Uh, specifically, this bill um, targets to add uh, descriptions revol re uh, revolving around semi-automatic handguns, uh, such as um, semi-automatic handguns that have four grips and detached magazines exterior to the uh, grip of the gun. And what this is targeting is your AR pistols that look kind of like rifles, but aren't rifles. So, you're seeing a lot of the, you know, they want to get rid of guns that have foregrips and barrel shrouds and things like that. Um, they're also extending this into um, shotguns. They don't want shotguns with more than five magazines. They don't want uh, revolving cylinders on shotguns. They don't want shotguns that can accept grenade launchers. Although, in my experience, I haven't seen a lot of shotguns that take grenade launchers. Um, why Congress feels it's necessary to add that one, I don't know. Maybe there's something coming down the pipes that we don't know about that would be a benefit to us. Anyway, um, there is actually in this bill a, a list of every firearm that they want to specifically target. And then some generalizations. Um, I'll include that list in the description of this video. Um, what I'll say is this. This is a section of the bill that, like I said, it's more regurgitated bullshit. It's stuff that doesn't really matter in the long run. It's just speaking points from previous bills they want to target in this big omnibus bill. So, again, if you're, if you're, if you're a pro-gun person and you're watching this, you probably feel like I do. Hey, any infringement is a bad infringement. But if you're an anti-gun person watching this, you have to ask yourself... When these cosmetic features do nothing for the functionality of the weapon, okay, nothing for the functionality of the weapon, except make them scary, what is it they're truly after? People don't need a gun to do evil. People can do evil without a gun just fine. They did it with machetes in Uganda. They've done it with trucks in France and in New York. Timothy McVeigh killed 1,300 people with fertilizer. They don't need guns to do evil. But in the larger picture, we do need guns to resist them. Think about that, folks. As I said, that information will be in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. As always, folks, be decent to each other. We're all in this together. God bless.